From Big Ten country, ABC Sports College Football presents the Penn State Nittany Lions and the Ohio State Buckeyes at the Horseshoe at Ohio State University. portion of the 96 football schedule in the Big Ten is over. From here on, it's meat and potatoes, the conference games, and a very big one just ending over in Evanston, where Northwestern 17, Michigan 16, and John Cooper will get the ball first as Penn State deferred. And Coop's Ohio State Buckeyes, ranked number three in the nation, possesses the ball. Carrying it is Demetrius Stanley, who had an 85-yard return. The Chile starting lineup, the Ohio State backs and receivers, and obviously the key man for the Buckeyes in their ground game is Pepe Pearson. He carried the ball 29 times from the 20. First down for the Buckeyes. Beautiful fall day in Columbus, Ohio. And Pearson is the offensive front. That makes so much difference for the Ohio State offense. It is led by number 75, Orlando Pace, 6'6", 330 pounds. The defensive front for Penn State, obviously, then, is going to be under attack. But it was Aaron Collins last Saturday who had a huge game, and uh, he expects to do the same today. But it is that kind of offensive activity the defensive secondary for Penn State led by Kim Herring Brian Miller Sean Lee and Mark Tate and it is a first down the ball is at the 32 they play on real grass here at the horseshoe this is Pearson that's the power of a first down for the Buckeyes just beyond the 47 yard line They've got three wideouts now as they spread the field a bit. Give it back to Pepe. He's looking to go outside. Can't do it. And they've been to the Citrus Bowl in Orlando the last two years. <laughs> Third down and 12. And Stanley Jackson has the ability to put it under his elbow. And in Calhoun. Split now in the backfield on third down. And Stanley Jackson looks down the middle and goes there. Is it a fumble or is it incomplete? Fourth down, and it's a knuckleball coming down to about the 19-yard line. But he has been tough in the clutch. Four times last year, he took him to victories in the fourth quarter. The Chile starting lineup will feature Joe Juravicious. He's a six foot five. He'll have a little size advantage, but he'll be shattered all day by Sean Spring. And uh, Enos from Union City, Ohio, now comes way wide as a flanker. So it's a little bit of a different look to start the game as Richardson goes back to throw, and he throws to the outside incomplete. He is anchored by Barry Tilch. Phil Ostrowski is the guard. He's the active one. You'll see him out in front leading a lot of plays today. The defensive front for Ohio State, again, part of the power. It is. Uh, it features a freshman, Andy Katzenmoyer, and yes, he's wearing number 45. And that goes straight to the I formation with Enos, the deep man, and he's got the ball. Curtis Enos blasts his way over the right side. And Sean Springs, uh, you see Winfield is in there at the other corner, but it's Springs that's going to be on Juravicious all day, or is one of the best. First down from the 32 for the Lions. And here it goes deep. It's a rainbow. And it is too far. Second down and 10. Nastasi in motion. And off to Enos inside. And on third and seven. Ultimer, the tight end, shifts over. Richardson back to throw it. Has time and drills it to the 40-yard line. No pressure. Got some spin on it. Spring circles at the 18. Finds daylight. Comes to the 30. And the Buckeyes will work from the 31. With Pearson and Calhoun in the backfield. Stanley Jackson sets and throws. It is caught. It is a great catch by Big John Lumpkin. And it's a 25-yard pickup for a first down at the 44-yard line. Penn State. This is Pepe Pearson. Stanley 
Jackson back. Has time. Got lost and walked in. Kick is good. 9-12 to play first quarter. Buckeyes jump to the lead, seven to nothing. Well, Keith, when you commit eight or nine guys to stop the run, the corners have to be one-on-one. -on -one. That's Andy Stamp, a sophomore out of Westchester, Ohio, kicking off for the Buckeyes. Get some air onto the ball. It's not too deep. That's Chafee Fields coming up to take it, a freshman from Philadelphia. Curtis Enos, the deep man, with uh, Jason Slough, the fullback. And there's contact in the middle of the line. Offside on the defense. Five yards, still first down. So, it, so it's first and five after the offside by the Buckeyes. And give it Enos. Enos takes a lick from da Damon Moore. They'll make a lot of hits today. Richardson, little play action. Back to throw it. Goes down the middle. Tied in. Keith Olsimer. And the ball comes out. Second down and ten. Enos to the outside. Tackle and down he goes. That is along with Enos. Nastasi, the man in motion. Richardson back. Pressure's coming. Ball is patted right back in his face. Punt today was a 42-yarder. The first return was 13. A little better kick here. A little higher and more hang time. But Springs will take it and bring it back. On first down, Stanley Jackson with a little play action, rolling it out to the left. And gets a block on the corner and picks up about six yards. This year, they're the third-ranked offense in the country. On second down and three, here comes Pepe. And cannot get away from Brian Miller. Pearson got a couple. It's third down and one now for the Buckeyes as they get close to midfield. The quarterback keeps it, and he didn't get much. On the 49-yard line, first down. Shuffle around, put a five-man front up there. Nobody's coming. There we go, Pepe Pearson. And he's got another first down. Pepe Pearson, six carries, 30 yards now, as he picks up 13 there. And this is Stanley Jackson throwing to the sideline. Good. 5.50 to go, first quarter, 7-0, Ohio State leading. And threatening again. Pearson, the single back. He gets it. Cuts it over the left side. Pearson inside the 20. Pearson, he's got the first down as he takes it inside the 15. Keller in the backfield. Now Pearson comes out of the set and goes in motion. Lions start bouncing, looking for incomplete and second down just inside the 15 Joe Montgomery is in the ball game now he's got the ball and he gets tripped up by Sean Lee this has got pass all over it here comes the pressure Jackson steps away from it it's thrown to the end zone and Lumpkin had a chance Josh Jackson from the 20 So it'll go down as a 30-yard attempt, and it's good. He just barely cleared the line of scrimmage with it. The kick was low, but it's in the net, and it's 10 to nothing, Ohio State. Fields number two and Campbell number 11. Buckeyes leading 10 to nothing, and that's not a very good kick. But it rolls around on the ground, and finally... Picked up by Chafee Field. Back from having his ankle strapped. So well, he's back on the field, and here comes Penn State. This is Aaron Harris trying to get outside. He's a tough runner. We should be eight. Richardson comes it. Caught by Nastasi, and Nastasi is out close to a first down. First down for the Nittany Lions with Enos. 
pretty good collision at the line of scrimmage. Second down and ten. Richardson back, looks for Nastasi, throws it to him on the sideline. Bottom of your picture. Off the first down play, Enos. Show blitz. Can't penetrate. Going away. Pass is downfield and it is incomplete. They'll throw it. Whip it out there very quickly and it is not good enough for the first down. Okay. This is a better one. It's a very good one. And it's in the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Where... And on first down, the final play of the first quarter, Stanley Jackson back looking to throw it. Goes down the middle with it. And it is incomplete intended for Michael Wiley. True freshman. They had both true freshmen in there, Boston and Wiley. They got some speed. After one, 10 0, Buckeyes. Go to the second quarter. Pepe Pearson, the deep man. And Stanley Jackson back to throw. Has time. Goes down the middle. Has his and he just flat dropped it. David Boston, third down and 10. Jackson again has some time, but now he throws and it's good for the first down. No, you're not. You, I know you're happy. You're not the homecoming game here. Well, I usually was the homecoming, but I'll tell you what, I'm glad I'm on the sideline this time on Ohio State, not the other yeah, side. Here. Pearson's almost hit in the backfield. That was a heck of a try. He's a backup defensive end, and when he gets in there, he wants to go all out. Third down, long two. Jackson swings it out there. That's a good pass to Pepe Pearson. Cemented this whole offense. You got a double tight end alignment as Jackson goes back to throw. The pressure's coming. He steps away from it, pulls it down, and tiptoes up. He's, but he's been hurt ever since he got to campus. Four up a knee. Second down and nine. Here's Jackson. Got a lot of room. He gets a block. He'll make it big. He's got the first down. Jackson getting pressure, fumbles the ball. And I think Ohio State recovered it. Coming up on 11 and a half minutes to go in the first half. Matt Keller is your fullback, single back right now. They give it to him. And he runs it down to the 30-yard line. Third down and two. Pearson is the deep back. He's got the ball. He's coming left. That's where Orlando Pace works. This might be a pretty good sized moment, this ball game right here. Jackson's going to throw. He got his man, and he hits Demetrius Stanley right on the number. Ball is at the 24-yard line. Up man, Calhoun. As the fullback seem to be the messengers. Jackson back, tight end. Fields and Chris Campbell waiting for Andy Stamps kick. This is a better kick. Goes back into the end zone. Fields is, oh, is he on the line? No. He just stopped. It's first down at the 20. Wally Richardson. And there was pressure all the way. Number 13, Damon Moore. Nastasi is the man in motion. And Richardson's pass is thrown over Nastasi's head. Curtis Enos and Jason Slowed. It's slowed now. The single back. That says pass. There's that little pop. Jury Petrus. And Joe will have a first down. Yep. First down at the 31. And this is Enos throwing the ball. Downfield for Nastasi. Joe turned inside. Swanee, you ought to know. You've been there. Yes, sir. Second down. Richardson is down. In 
inside the 25 at the 24. Third down and 16. Inside, Pincus puts the heat on, gets the ball away to Aaron Harris, and Harris is down at the 30-yard line. Alvin? Yep, I think so. I think so. It's out. That's a pretty good kick there. Sean Springs waiting for Kenya's rocket, and he has a little room. Okay. He has a lot of room. And he brings it back across midfield, and Daryl Kenya, the punter, is... So Jermaine in to get his work in the first half. A little delay, hand off to Peppy Pearson. Look at that. Tell you what, that Pearson's a... Peppy Pearson now has 62 yards on 13 carries. And it's first down. Ball on the 34-yard line of Penn State, and Jermaine shoots it. the second touchdown for Demetrius Stanley. And start throwing. Kick by Josh Jackson is good. 6.26 to go in the first half and it's now 24 to nothing Buckeye. Good, quick release. Touchdown for the Buckeyes. Well, that's the second bad kick that Andy Stamp has had today. Polly Richardson now settles down. Ohio State's got a five-man front up there. Richardson back to throw it, lets it go, intended for Stassi. That's good defense. But I would imagine there's a... I mean, that's got to hurt. a little discouraged. You know, got stuff going on all the time. That pass is thrown right into the hands of Curtis Enos. Most run together. Here's a good pass, though. It's late, and Sean Springs brought it back 38. That's a low liner. And Springs will let it go. Well, that cost him 15 yards. Joe Germain is in there at quarterback now on the 11-yard line, and the Buckeyes take over. Hands it to Pepe Pearson, and he's down at the 9. The first half, 24 to nothing, Ohio State. This is Pearson. Trying to get around the corner. Number 24 got over there in a hurry. They've always been good at it. Third and nine. Jermaine gets the ball away to Pearson. Pearson has Aaron Collins to beat. Goes out of bounds at about the, just short of the 20. Pearson and Keller in the backfield for the Buckeyes. Jermaine, a little delay. Give it a Pepe. And he's at the 30. So far. Pearson in motion, leaving the fullback to single back. That normally reads pass. Jermaine's pass is away down the middle of the field and right on the hands of Michael Wiley. <laughs> Con says those guys need to get in and get some experience. Sir. They've got the big playability. Joe Montgomery is the deep back. Hey, that's a pretty good lick, you know that? On the 38 now, first down, Keller and Montgomery of the backs. That's Montgomery in motion. Jermaine back, pressure coming, pass away. Pass is incomplete, intended for Demetrius Stanley. To the sidelines and over the head, uh, over the Trojans. Wow. Third down and 10, Jermaine loops it out, and it is incomplete, intended for Montgomery. He didn't get anything out of that That's one either. A shank, if they ever seen one. Keith. Sounded like he blew a tire. Chafee Fields is now in the backfield. Number two, red shirt freshman from Philadelphia. Richardson throws over the head of the intended receiver. Goes out to see the screen. The linebacker should be out there. Move. The snap. Ball start on the offense. Five yards. Second down and 15. Richardson's pass is thrown to the sidelines and incomplete. And it seems to be working. Of course, he had a veteran defense to, to work with, too. Richardson throws it, and it is incomplete. Here's the punt by Kenya. It's a good kick. Sean Springs at the 12. Gets it back to the 20. Back to the old style, and that is run 
and mix the run with the pass. Here comes Stuckey. Oh, the it replaced a lot of people, and it just didn't seem to miss the beat. Pearson on the first down carry. What a need to have another one to take the pounding. Jackson pass is a little bit behind Demetrius Stanton. Because he was a back here for Ohio State, isn't it? He's a good one, too. Jackson has all day and now lets it go deep down the sidelines, and it is incomplete. Not very much. He's becoming an adventure here. He's, he's out of practice. But he can. Crank it up once in a while. Anyway. Good coverage. Offense has just been shut <laughs> I've never down. seen that. The right guard went over and asked the left guard what to do. Oh, this is trouble city for Corey Jones. Very frustrating for Fran Gander, the offensive coordinator, and the offensive coaches. On second down, they try to run it. They yeah, we'll get a little bit out of it. Yeah, we'll yeah. That's right. And the Yankees, that's their strength, I guess. Yep. Yep. It's third down and 16. This is Chafee Field. And Chafee Field, can you go ahead and kick it if in fact he's going to kick it? And he is. And they'll let it go. And it's going to roll around and go dead at about the 27, 28 yard line. Yeah, maybe they're going to try to do something. They don't just take a knee. They give it to Pepe Pearson and he bounces outside. And he runs all the way to the 40 yard line. But that'll do the first half. So the Buckeyes have uh, dominated the first half of play here at the Horseshoe in Columbus to lead by 24. Coming up, the Valvoline halftime, 96. It has rung true in the first half because Penn State gained 75 total yards in the entire first half. It is Chafee Field. Well. They'll start at the 17-yard line with Enos and Harris in the backfield. And Wally Richardson back to throw. Unloads to Aaron Harris. And he picks up 11 yards. First down at the 29-yard line. Sure, their confidence is a little down right now, too. Enos into the center. Jury Vicious at the bottom of your picture. The taller one. Springs comes over to cover him. They throw underneath to the short man, and they'll need him next week when Wisconsin comes to town. Here's Richardson on a roll. On third and one, he throws complete to Chris Kemble. First down. They show blitz. They're coming. Richardson gets his pass away, and it is caught by the tight end, Olsimer. Nastasi's in motion. Enos with the ball. Enos is locked up. Richardson lets it go, and it is incomplete. The Lions are going for it. Over the middle. Pass is completed to Crusher Brown. And Brown is in a wrestling match and will win it at the 35. Penn State with the opening possession of the second half, and they're moving it. Enos taken down. At Throws it out to him. And he's belted out of bounds. Harris is in the backfield with Enos. Here they come. He got it away, and he's got a man out there. It is an incomplete forward pass. He won the ball game with a 25-yarder at Madison, Wisconsin last week. This is a 47-yard try. He hits the upright. In goes outside. No good. There might be some good in that quarter. The ball is on the 30-yard line, and Stanley Jackson at quarterback hands it off to Pepe Pearson, and Pepe is going to have about nine yards. When State Herring, the free safety, had nine tackles, and Lee, the strong safety, had eight. Second and one. They don't go for the big play. Give it to the fullback. Third and uh, short yard. Jackson changing his play. Pearson stays in the backfield. Has the ball. And dies.
drives across the 40-yard line. Long season, yep. and there just there's nothing there. Jackson rolls it out, lets it go, incomplete, intended for Buster Tillman. Jim Lachey. Second down and 10. This is Pearson bouncing to the outside and cuts it across the 45. And third and four. Can't get it. There's that King again. Well, that's another good one. And kicks in and through the end zone. 7.57 to go in the third quarter. Enos and Slowed behind Wally Richardson. They continue to throw the ball, throw it behind Slowed. They may be right back up there, Keith, for, yep. uh, to get in that fight. Yep. That pass is completed to uh, Curtis Enos. He's a backup, so more really came on. Fickle gets a hold of Richardson and turns him upside down. Look at him. David Boston is waiting for the eighth punt of the day by Penn State's Kenya. And the freshman from Texas gets a little taste. Stanley Jackson. Anytime your quarterback is out there running around. You're not ready to play. You haven't been preparing properly, so you're not going to play. Pepe Pearson. That's another first down. So on first down at the 48 of Penn State, Buster Tillman, flankers in motion. And this is Pearson. He just kept sliding around and you go all the way out. back on and pass Jesse Owen. Stanley Jackson. Looking around, finds Big Lumpkin. And says, here, John. And got himself ready to play, and he's turned his turned his uh, self around. He's a very bright player. Michigan's got to find some offense. Oh. They haven't had much this year. Well, that thing doesn't work for anything. The Buckeyes are right back down on him. Missed the field goal, hit the upright. Here's Jackson again now, looking into the end zone, and it's short. He trying to beg his case. It's fourth down and eight, and Ohio State's going to go for Too it. Too long for a field goal. Yep. Thrown underneath to the fullback, Keller. And Matt Keller, who scored a touchdown. The defense, that's tough on the defense. It's Pearson. No signal. Now you get a touchdown. <laughs> Bartholomew holds the kick is good. 31 to nothing, Ohio State. He won the Lombardi a year ago. He may win it again. He may win most everything. That kicks out of bounds. In the backfield for Penn State. 31 to nothing, Ohio State. Two and a half minutes to go in the third quarter. Wally Richardson has stay been back, stay back. beleaguered. He completes it. Here with Andy Fields. Guard team one. Sack. Three years. And that brings up a kicking down for the Nittany Lions. David Boston waiting for it. Gets a bounce. Takes it. Oh, got a block. He's a burner if he gets a little room. And he's back to the 25-yard line. They've got a worthy opponent coming here next week in Wisconsin. Yes, they do. And I think uh, Wisconsin's had a week off to prepare. I guess they're pretty good, too. I, I, wouldn't, argue, I wouldn't argue with that. Jackson quickly looking around. Can't find anybody. He's mobile enough, though. And uh, now he'll just pull it down and run it and make something out of the play. 260 pounds, but he's just overmatched. 
And we've come to the end of the third quarter with Penn State in trouble. Ohio State leading 31 to nothing. We'll be back after this word from our ABC station. Joe Montgomery is in the backfield now with Matt Keller. Montgomery is the number two tailback. And we may not see much of Pepe Pearson the rest of the day. The Bartholomew, low line drive, and it goes by Chris Kimball and trickles out of bounds down at the 13-yard line. So Wally, under siege all day, gets a bit of rest as McCurdy comes in, hands the ball to Shaky Fields. Second down and four. And McQuarrie drills it, complete to Nastasi for a first down. But during their football camp, and they were razzing him a little bit about this game, and Fields, nothing doing. Well, I'm fine with Penn State. <laughs> and a good laugh. Second down and nine. That's a lateral, but it's caught by Fields. But it isn't going anywhere. Crowd trying to get into the ball game now just to have a little hoop. Here comes the blitz. The pass is caught. That's good defense. Brings up fourth down. It'll be the tenth punt of the day for Kenya. That's a tail dragger. Coming up to field it is David Boston. And he'll get him on the 35. The last is the not side. in. Yeah, he's not in out there now. Yep. <clears throat> See what happens. Here's Jermaine throwing down the middle, and the pass is incomplete. This is Montgomery. And Montgomery's out of bounds. How he got out of here, I don't know. Freddie Puggage was telling us yesterday. He's one that got away. State and he has the ball at the fair press Come on, Jerry. He's got the ball. Boy, he's tough. Joe Montgomery. Top, top draft choices. And they come in and they reload. And in the fourth game of the season, this is Montgomery. And he's got four yards. It's amazing. I was startled. <laughs> yeah. Second down and goal from the three. And Jermaine, touchdown, Matt Calhoun. Well, the score is kind of getting up now. It's about to be 38 to nothing if they can convert. Good. 38 to nothing with 9.43 to play in the game. This is too easy. Penn State has a couple of freshman players in there. They get mixed up. And if you're a quarterback and you got this opportunity, go ahead and take it. Nine forty-three to go in this ball game. 38 to nothing. And the Buckeyes kick off to Kenny Watson. Watson is up to the 32-yard line. Penn State has crossed midfield one time today, and that was the opening possession of the second half. They got down to the Penn State, uh, to the Ohio State 30, and there they stopped. Uh -oh, a lot more than those <laughs> went into professional football, I'll say that. They uh, produced a lot of other ones. Look at this fellow. Anthony Cleary. What, what's what, what's going to happen? Is the defense going to catch up? Well, I think we're seeing what's happening. That pass is caught by Corey Jones and turns in a big play. He can move it. That's Jones in motion. McQuarrie's playing quarterback. Chris Evans carrying the ball. That one weekend where Sky falls to the end zone. Second and ten from the 15, and it's Cleary. They all have to come in here and play this uh, Buckeye team. McCreary's pass to fourth and four. 
At the close end of the horseshoe, the crowd jumps on him. McQuarrie back, throws it. Penalty flag. And had position, and McClellan fouled him. First and goal from the two. And it's Everly. No, they don't let him in. Give it to the big guy. And he's got a touchdown. So the Lions have avoided the shutout. And it's good. So the Lions get on the scoreboard at 6.03 to play in the game.